Welcome to DevCon. I wanted to start this morning with everyone in the room here, everyone watching, just say a warm thank you for all the work you've done to sort of make PyTorch what it is today. This is a true community. We've got people from all over the world contributing and being part of this project. We want to optimize for developer experience and drive developer efficiency. TorchScript is pretty widely used within places like Microsoft, Facebook, and uh, later Sydney from Uber will be giving a talk about how they use TorchScript to put their full prediction model on the car. Today, I'm very happy to announce the availability of cloud TPUs in 1.3. Our goal isn't to take those high-performing models and make them simpler and more interpretable, but above everything, it's about understanding. Krypton is a platform for research and machine learning using secure computation techniques. So what is PyTorch Mobile? Well, it's PyTorch for mobile. And I know that sounds a little bit silly, uh, but a lot of the questions we get when we talk about PyTorch Mobile are, did you build a brand new framework? Are we going to have to export our model to a new format? Are we going to have to port a bunch of operators? Uh, and the answer to all of those is no. So no new framework, no model conversion, no operator porting. Uh, this is just PyTorch built for Android and iOS. The nice thing about this is not only do we get to train really awesome large networks, but we also get to ship them. PyTorch is becoming the deep learning tool of choice inside Microsoft. A big thank you to the PyTorch community for helping supporting this lively ecosystem where we can go and work and do pretty amazing things.